I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Hi. Are you, are you feeling a little better? Let me, let me look at your face. Hey, hey, don't pull away. You'll hurt my feelings. Hmm. Your eyes are still a little hazy. <laughs> Honestly, I am. Um, I was a little worried. I might have used a higher dosage than was recommended, um, but I had to be sure you were completely out. Oh yeah, I um. I think one of the side effects was um. Dry mouth. Hang on. L let me get you some water. Again, I guess <laughs> I just can't apologize enough. I, uh, I, I might have put something in your food, but I, I had to. You don't know who I am, do you? Yeah, I guess that. Sounds about right. My friends, well, friends, friend, calls me Cece. Uh, it's short for Cecilia. My parents were really big uh, Simon and Garfunkel fans. Um, we're we're in the same art in Western Civ class. We're also in psychology and, and accounting. Yeah, yeah, I'm, um, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm the only person taking this many classes with you. Uh, of, of course, that's, that's by, um, design. Oh. Okay. You finally remember me now. Crazy Cece. I guess that's going to follow me all the way to the grave. Huh? But at least you know who I am. And that saves some time on explanation, I guess. And yeah, I, uh, I have been watching you ever since freshman year of high school. And I, I even applied to the same school as you, and I got in. Not that that was surprising. Uh, for all my faults and <laughs> my messed up personality, I've always been a pretty good student. <laughs> I bet everyone would have shit their pants back at Greenlee High if they knew who the true valedictorian was. Not that dumb bitch Chloe and her stupid 4.05 GPA. The only reason she got to do the speech at graduation was because I made a deal with Principal Lee. What an idiot. He should have done a better job of encrypting his emails. Did he really think no one would ever find out about his relationship with... Well, <laughs> I guess you don't really care about that. And besides, I I should make sure to stick to my part of the bargain. After all, he's the one who pulled some strings and made it so that Chloe had to stand at that podium, none the wiser that she was just the salutatorian. <laughs> oh man, can you imagine the look on her face? If she found out a nobody like me bested her. 
Yeah, I heard she got into Columbia. Full ride. Couldn't have happened to a worse person. Am I right? Mm, yeah. I guess it could have just not worked as hard if I didn't want to be valedictorian and all the so-called fucking honors that something like that entails, but I, I had to make sure that every university was open to me. I don't know what I would have done if you ended up going to a college that was closed to me. Even so, picking the college you picked? Talk about punching above your weight. Now, I know your dad's friends with the admissions board, and if you don't mind my honesty, there's no way you would have been able to get, you know, here. Not with your grades. But, but that's okay. You know what? It's fine, because your talents lie elsewhere. God, you are so fucking hot. Sorry, sorry. I'm moving too fast, aren't I? I just... I can't believe you're finally here. Right in front of me. I... God, I want to kiss you so badly. I just... I just want to take advantage of you so badly. But... but no. I... I couldn't. Um, I have to wait. R right How could I... How can I expect you to return my affections if I force them on you? So, uh, maybe I won't put my hands on you. Yeah, I, I can keep my hands to myself. God knows I've done it for such a long time. But... I'm gonna stay right here. Close enough so that you can feel the heat of my breath on your cheeks, my hair brushing against your face, looming over you. It's so strange, isn't it? Usually, it's the guy on top, like you. <laughs> They said you'd fuck any girl who so much as looked your way, but, but we both know that's not true. Is it? Because I'm still here. Unfucked. Unloved. You know, they say that longing makes the heart grow fonder. Well, I've... I've longed for you for seven long years. And that's why... That's why you're here right now. Because I couldn't bear for it to turn into eight. Nine. And then, and then you'd find some dumb bimbo to marry, get her fat with your baby. I, I just, I can't, I, I just can't sit back and let that happen. Because then I'd have to do something drastic. And I don't believe in hurting children. <laughs> I know I'm fucked up, but I'm not that fucked up. Oh, baby, don't look at me like that. I'm... 
<laughs> Believe it or not, this is me being good. So, I just want you to sit there quietly and listen to me. Okay? <laughs> not like you can do anything else. The zip ties aren't too tight, right? I had a really hard time trying to find really big ones for your wrists and ankles at the hardware store. But once again, online shopping comes through. <laughs> Honestly, it's better this way. I don't want anyone looking at me wondering what the hell I'm doing with zip ties this big, right? <laughs> Where was I? Oh, yeah. Thank you for the reminder. And for that, I think I'm gonna reward you. I know I said I wasn't going to lay my hands on you. So I won't. But I can kiss you, right? Guys are into that kind of thing. Yeah? Then consider this your reward for reminding me. <clears throat> Right. <laughs> oh, your poor body. It doesn't know if it's supposed to be scared or aroused. I can see the fear in your luminous eyes. God, they look like pools of starlight, infinite in their depths. So beautiful. You're lucky I'm just a yonder, eh? <laughs> if I was any more dangerous, I might just take your eyes and keep them on my mantle, floating in a solution of formalin. But no, I'm I'm not the biggest fan of unaliving people. It's such an inelegant way of disposing of someone. So crude. There are a thousand better, far more satisfying ways of eliminating people. Because what's the point of hurting people if they're not there to experience it? Like Olivia. <laughs> yeah. Your senior girlfriend? I have to say senior because you had a different girl, like, every year in high school. Sorry, different girls. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. I heard what she did to you. <laughs> How could she cheat on you with that asswipe? <sighs> I mean... It's got to be clear to even Helen Keller, of all people, that you are the far superior specimen. But no, she had to go panting after Alex like a bitch in heat, not even aware that there were girls willing to kill to be in her position. <laughs> well, I'd hate to be in her position now. Oh. Yeah. It was me who fucked with her car. Now she's just a pretty girl in a wheelchair. Her legs all withered from disuse. Such a shame. Right? She always wore those short skirts to school, showing off her ass every time she bent over. Everyone knew she picked opportunities to show off her ass, and it used to piss the girls off and drive the guys up the wall. <laughs> well, she's not showing that ass off to anyone anytime soon. If at all. Not with her legs mangled like that. But she deserved it for what she did. <laughs> Who the hell does she think she is? 
betraying you like that. Well, she had to pay. So she did. Can I tell you a secret? Promise you won't tell anyone? She's not the only one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been making sure that nothing and no one gets in your way. I've been the one in the shadows helping you up. All because I love you. I'm sure you've been secretly asking yourself why your grades are so high, why you've been able to navigate the college social hierarchy so easily, especially since, you know, everyone knows that freshmen are just that. Fresh meat. But not you. No, never you. And that is all because of me. I've been the one dragging you out of your comfort zone, pushing you to go beyond what you thought was possible, and encouraging you to take risks. I've been the one terrorizing your professors into giving you better grades and scaring away people who might have stood in your way. I've been your silent guardian, your defender in the shadows. I can give you everything you've ever wanted. I can help you reach your goals. I can make sure that you always have someone in your corner. I can give you a level of security and protection that you've never had before. I can be your rock, your support, your reason for living. Together, we can take on the world and make our dreams a reality. So, please, look into my eyes and tell me that you understand. Understand why I've done everything that I did just for you. And there's just one more thing you need to tell me. Tell me you want to take a chance on us. Tell me you're ready to take the leap of faith and trust me with your heart, body, and soul. I would never, ever, ever hurt you. I would rather cut my own hands off than cause even a second of pain for you. Let me be the one to take care of you. And that you'll be my one and only. If you do this, everything will change. I can show you heaven on earth. I swear this on everything. I will bring you happiness. And I will bring nothing but pain and misery to those who dare to go against you. Only if you tell me. Yes. Please. 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 Won't you take this chance and let me love you? All you have to do is say. 